What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode of Party Hard 2. Oh yes, it's out. And it's time to slaughter some people while getting down to those electro jams. Get that EDM life on right now. It's times like this I wish I had a face cam because I'm busting a crazy move right now. Like you guys are witnessing, or you're failing to witness anyways because I haven't set you up properly. You're failing to witness the glory of Splattercat Dance Room. I get on the floor and women just faint over and over again. Head contusions, lacerations, banned from the club because I'm a public health hazard. I can't help it. I start shaking that booty and it's just like, oh my lord. They all just fall apart. Let's play some Party Hard 2. This is the first alpha that they've released. So I don't know what's in store for us, but I bet it's going to involve stabbing. All right, so here we are. Uh, one key. We've got ourselves a knife. We can also use something that looks like instinct mode. So I can kill people and I can hide them inside of dumpsters. I can knife attack with E. As far as I remember, you don't use the mouse like at all in this game. If I remember right. Let's go look around for somebody I can stab, though. Oh my god, that is a very bloody... Good lord. That shit's hella bloody. What's this guy got going on, though? I'm gonna stab this dude. And then I can pick up his body with F. And I'm just gonna hurry this back around. Maybe throw his ass inside of there. Oh shit, that's not gonna work. Alright, well let's just put him behind the car for right now. I don't think anybody's gonna see him over here anyways. This dude's got to go on this side, so let's get to it. Oh, and you have been stabbed. He was like, oh, it's you lost, mate. Got a dead body back here. Got forensic teams going on. Oh, somebody's already seen the dead guy. Somebody already done seen dead guy. Hmm, I'm going to have to stay low. I'm about to stay real low on this one. Stab that dude. Stab that dude. Can I put him inside a barrel over here? Is that possible? There we go. I can hide a body inside a barrel. It also looks like I can set like a trap over here. But only if I... Can I carry this guy? Oh, shit. Ugh, stab that guy and get him taken care of. I think there's going to be a learning curve here. I got to refigure out how to play the game. So we got to look around for like stuff we can do. Oh, shit. They want to arrest my ass. They're trying to get me. They're looking for bodies and all kinds of shit. I gotta walk past this bouncer over here, and I bet he's gonna be like, Oh, mate, what is you doing? Ow, I've been punched in the face! Don't make me kill your ass. Oh, wow, he's trying to... Oh, can I stab the cop? Stab the cop, though! Oh, man. You have the right to remain silent. I don't have the choice. I've gotta remain silent, because you knock me unconscious. Unless it's kind of like a... Uh, 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 like moaning silence, I guess. Is there a way to get away from the cop after I've been knocked the hell out? Why is there a bear trap on the sidewalk? What kind of neighborhood is this where there's just a bear trap sitting on the side of the block? Like, what? That seems like a walking hazard, man. So I can't go outside that area. Can I run people over over here? There's got to be something I can do with this. I can trespass into the bathroom by going through there. On this side, it looks like I could do something with the generator. What did that do? Hmm. You'd think people would be kind of suspicious of the guy walking around who's got a mask. Can I do something with the car now? Like, I turn on the jumper cables. Does it do anything? What did the jumper cables accomplish? I thought it was going to make the car go, because it looks like it's kind of running to the car right there. I'm going to trespass. We'll just go through here. Leave a couple debtors in the bathroom if we have to. So how many people are going to be trying to go into this stall right here? They're just going to rotate. The aesthetic has changed. The game was all pixel art before. Now it's pixel art on top of 3D, which is actually something that I've always really liked. That was one of my favorite phases of gaming. Oh, shit. That dude got knocked the hell out. That banana dude got yoked. Uh, I can activate this, but I don't know what it does. Ah, uh, it turns into a shock thing. All right. I'm going to walk away, and we'll just see what happens here. So, yeah, the cops are going to come out. Can I do anything with the DJ? So, with the speakers, I can break the speakers. I don't think that's going to help too much, though. Can I poison the bottle right there? Yeah, I'm going to mess up the hookah. And we'll just kind of see what happens here. We'll just sabotage some people. What's up with this little targeting reticule above people's head? Is that like, oh, those are people that I actively have to kill. So the hookah's doing its thing over there. Like, what happens with the hookah? Oh, it explodes after a little bit. Okay. So we've got that covered. That killed a bunch of people down there, too. The cops are going to keep showing up and trying to investigate. Bouncers are doing work in this place. Good lord. The bouncers are fixing out a beatdown. This is a dangerous place, man. These bouncers don't give a damn. And it looks like it's some kind of meth lab or something in the back. 
All right, well, we'll go back there. We'll clear this on out. We're killing bad guys. That's what we do. It's what we do well. Uh, we've got a couple people that are trying to call the police right now. we got dead bodies all over the place. This is going to be a mess. I don't think people would keep partying given this situation. I don't see that being like a valid option. I'm going to get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. So now we got two more people down. He's going to see the dead body when he comes around the corner, I think. Oh, shit, no. Trespass. Trespass. Go through the gate. No! Oh, I think I found a bug. I think I found a bug. There we go. I think I found a bug. You can actually, if you're knocked out, you can still, what is this? Take the booze. So can I poison the booze? Like, if I poison the booze, does anything dope happen? Like, I don't know how the booze plays into this whole thing. Oh, the cops are still on me. Right, I'm about to trespass through this door. Do my thing. Let him run around and just kind of, like, waste his time. So many people in the bathroom. Like, I know I can assassinate some people in here. It's just like I'm waiting for it to happen, you know? Uh, go back to my knife. I'm going to trespass back through here. I think the cops go away after a little bit. Almost positive they go away. I'm going to light that shit, and maybe that'll kill somebody. Maybe it'll kill the cop when he comes by. That would be... Oh, shit. I got blown up by my own trap. Good lord. We are partying so hard right now. This dude looks like he's on vacation from, like, the mainland. I can break the jukebox. Yeah, break the jukebox. Don't rock the jukebox. I'm gonna make it a bomb. It's cool and explode it all day long. Well, I don't have enough people gathered around at this point. That only killed one guy. I was hoping that would do better. I gotta figure out a way to draw people to a location. I'm gonna mess that shit up. And as people walk through, I think they're gonna get toasted. Yep, there goes a couple right there. Yep, and there's another one. We only got three right there, though. We only got three. I'm going to take this girl down real fast just so she's done. And then with this generator, I still don't know what this does. I thought it was going to make the car run these dudes over. Uh, yeah, do that. And then run, run away. Run away. Run faster. There you go. You got her. Oh, we blew up the car, too. Crazy-ish. People running around all over the place right now. I'm not sure how I'm going to assassinate everybody. So we exploded a canister. Apparently that was part of our objectives. I don't think they've put the storyline mode in just yet. If I set off these cans over here, what happens? Yeah, sure. Blow up a canister. Why not? Do a little bit of demolitions. Oh, no! The cars are flammable. Cars are flammable. Probably should have known that. Probably should have known that. Things to learn. We got this, though. So I'm going to light that up on the way by. We're going to trespass inside so we don't get blowed the hell up. Somehow, the hood of the car is going to end up inside the building. Oh my god, those lighting effects. There is a very real fire up in here right now. <laughs> this dude over here doing the cross knees hands thing. Getting down and getting it. I'm going to set that hookah on fire. Maybe that kills a couple folks. And then as long as nobody sees me tamper with this... Ah, never mind. Ain't nobody coming back here. I'm going to tamper with that real fast. Maybe that'll earn me a couple of kills. Kill that dude off, too. So there's a dead dude in the bathroom right now. Somehow, I don't think that's going to stop drunk people from coming in and just, like, doing their thing. The bypasses were a major mechanic in the first game that you used to escape from the police. I don't know if this guy's going to see me when I kill these dudes over here. But these three are staying kind of high and tight right now. So I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. The cop just thinks that I'm somebody walking around right now, so it shouldn't be an issue. It does look like you can kill cops in this one. In the previous game, I don't think you could kill cops. I can push someone into this thing right here. Well, that was probably a good opportunity right there, but I'm a doctor, not a porter something. Porter, gotcha. This dude's over here, like, jerking off on the ground or something. I don't know what he's doing, like, rolling a blunt or whacking it or something. He's doing something. So that bouncer is busy. He done put the knockout on somebody right there. So ain't nobody allowed to go back in this area. So Killer's Instinct apparently lights up stuff that I can set. I will set this bear trap. I don't know why there's a bear trap right there, but you know what? I'm going to set the bear trap because why not? In addition, I think I'll probably mess with the jukebox over here. I need a reason for people to come out front, though. I don't have, like, a maximum number. In the previous game, there was a number of people that you had to kill. I'm not seeing it right there. With my instinct, I can do something with this over here in the VIP. Oh, no, never mind. Those are canisters. 
Okay. I don't know what drunk people do or what drunk people mean. Oh, this dude over here to the left-hand side. Look at that dance. He's doing like the caveman stompy dance. I am going to break the speakers, and I assume something's going to happen when they break, and a bunch of people are going to die. Yeah, that's about what I figured. That's more or less what I had assumed was going to happen. Uh, this individual got to go. We'll take them out in the bathroom, and then straight through there, we'll trespass. That person's going to see the cops. I must contact the cops. Uh, sorry, blow up the car. I feel like I already blew up the car. But apparently I can't activate that over there, so I guess I'll just have to live with it. With this fire barrel in the middle, can I do anything with that? It looks like I can dispose of bodies inside of these trash cans, but can I infiltrate with a body in my hand? I'm going to get her too. Might as well. I, I see no reason not to. How many times do the cops have to come out here before they realize that this area is just trouble? So the cops are going that way. I'm going to get these two. And let's go ahead and put them inside of a trash can. I got this covered. Hide a body inside a trash can. Hide a body inside of a trash can, and we've cleared out this side of the map, which is actually more challenging than it seems. It sincerely is. Like, actually locking down a corner of the map is a big deal in this game. We'll wait and see what that guy does. He sees a new dead body and decides he's going to call the cops yet again. At what point do we just shut this place down because it's too hyped? At what point? At a certain point, we have to. This is getting a little out of control. Police's investigative work definitely needs to be brought up to the next level. I gotta get away from that explosive as soon as possible. So there it is. That killed off one of the bouncers. I don't know which bouncer just died, but that got rid of the door guy. Okay, so door guy. Oh, look, it's what's her name from Family Guy. We need more lemon bridge. <laughs> there she is right there. You can see it. That's totally who that's supposed to be. Oh, there's more people over here. That's a little weird. Whoa, police. Watch out, man. Police is trying to run people over. Oh, she's trying to clean up the mess. She's trying to clean up the mess. All right. So I'm thinking maybe people just like respawn or something. I don't know where this bodyguard went. But sorry, lady. You got to go. It's your turn. Can I throw her in a dumpster or something? I can. Good. We'll load her in a dumpster and just hope for the best there. It looks like I can explode something in the hallway right there. But that's killed off. Uh, there's drug dealers we still need to get a hold of couple of dead guys over here that we could probably move around. Let me see if I can infiltrate. Well, can I go through a barrier while carrying a dead body? Oh, I can. Okay. Well, then I'll throw that in over there. I had no idea that was a thing that I could even do. I'm learning right now. I've got to learn how to be a killer on this level. we got our sexy Italian suit. I assume that we've got our sexy Italian shoes on. Those ones where you don't wear socks with them because they're like little slip-on things and they make your shoe, they make your feet turn the color of the shoe because you bought the cheap ones instead of like the real ones. I know what's up. I know what's up. I live that life. I live that life every day. I'm going to push this lady. This lady's got to go. Oh, no. You've been thrown into a blender. My bad. My bad, you guys. All right. So as far as this guy goes, if I can wait till the chemists are out of the way, I might be able to get him. Alternatively, it's equally possible that I can just blow up a chemist like that. Yeah, there goes a chemist. That dude called the cops. So we want to stay the hell away from that spot right now. Because if there's one thing I know about being a killer, it's that we don't want to be around the cops. That's a bad plan. I wonder what the little money signs and stuff are that are popping off people. I assume that that's like an exchange of bills or something like that. This dude over here in a toga just dancing in a pool of blood. The depravity, man. The depravity. I got to get this cowboy. Dude, I'm going to get this cowboy. You think I won't, but I will. This cowboy is about to get done. There we go. Cowboy's done for. What do those little things mean above my head? Does that mean I'm stunned? Was he a drug dealer? Oh, so you've got to observe people. I think that's what it is when the little cash things go up above their heads. That means you observe them dealing drugs, and so you now know that they're one of the dealers so that you can start planning ways to eliminate them. Gotcha. Uh, is there anything I can do up here? Doesn't look like it. I just got to wait for this dude to move. Once he goes to like a more advantageous spot, I think we'll be all right. Oh, I could probably take him right here on the stairwell, but I'm going to wait till the police go somewhere else. Alternatively, if he lines up somewhere where I can get him with like an explosive. Oh, he's not doing that. Never mind. 
There we go. Set that up. Get the hell out of the way. So that's going to be the last of the dealers. Now we just got to get the chemists. Uh, there's only a couple of chemists left. So if I can whack one or two of them using a fire barrel over here, we might be able to get something done. In addition, we got to get rid of that bouncer somehow. I don't know exactly how I want to do that, but we'll figure it out in just a minute. Please step on the bear trap. Oh, I didn't step on the bear trap. You think that would make the air conditioning smell weird if you push somebody into one of the air conditioning units? I feel like it would. All right, so we'll light that up. Hey. Oh, it was lit. Shit, it didn't have an animation for being lit. I thought it didn't get lit. Damn. All right, well, we're back on the force again, I guess. We're just going to struggle with this level the whole time, I suppose. I will sneak through here. And our first little clutch of victims. I think I can get you. I can get you. Can't get that guy, though. Can't get that guy, though. I think he just saw the dead body. I don't think he saw me because I don't have handcuffs above my head. So we just whacked a whole bunch of people in the bathroom for pretty much free. Didn't cost us a whole lot. In addition, I'm going to detonate that and just get the hell as far away as I can. There we go. And so that's going to run a couple of people around. They say I'm... Oh, shit. I almost got run over by the popo. Packing fofos. You already know no. Well, we were getting there, I guess. We were getting closer to a victory that last time, but we just... We just shrewded it. We shrewded it so hard. I don't think I can push somebody into a... I'm going to set a bear trap, though, just in case. And then on this side, if I can whack a chemist or two, I wouldn't be against it. Mostly the bouncer right there is the main problem. I don't know how to get rid of him aside from just stabbing him in the face when he tries to ride out on me. All right, that guy's going to go down to there, so let's boogie on out of the way before that blows up. Well, that's a couple of chemists down. I mean, I think I threw two of them in there on that one, so... Not gonna complain about it. If those guys go back upstairs, we'll whack the rest of the chemists right now. And we'll get rid of the bouncer. What does the booze do? If I take the booze, do I give the booze to people? Oh, I can give booze to people to make them drunk. What about the bouncer? Ow, bitch! Why are you throwing punches, though? I got booze. Why are you such a dick? Being an asshole to me. I'm not even, like, messing with you. I was just trying to walk past a place and do a thing, man. Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta hate on a player? I definitely gotta figure out a way to bait people across. But I'm gonna go over here. And I'll see what's going on. Are you throwing... Oh, he's throwing money out of his pockets. Gotcha. He's the money chucker. The ultimate sucker. Got the gun with the brucker. wonder if I could get them both. I can. I can. Wrong dumpster, lady. I'm sorry. It's just not your day. They already cleaned up the bodies in here. And then I get you, get you, get you. Okay, I don't get you. Never mind. I tried. I tried real hard, but unfortunately it just didn't go through. I could probably get these two over here if I'm careful about it and that lady in the white shirt goes away with her, like, 1990s mom jeans. Dude, we're doing work out here. All right, left side of the building's looking a little bit more clear. Cops going inside. However, I'm gonna need to hustle if I'm gonna move these bodies into the trash can before too long. We've got one out of five dealers, two out of four chemists so far. Uh, the cop went over there. There we go, got him taken care of. Uh, if I can move this body, by moving him through here, that'd be great. We haven't actually used like any of our traps just yet. So we're doing an okay job right now. Could be a lot worse. Everybody that comes into the bathroom is basically getting whacked on sight because it's a dead zone and I've got an instant trash can that I can throw all the bodies inside of. A cleaning lady goes in. Does cleaning lady get in or does she get punched? Cleaning lady gets to go inside. Also lady in skimpy outfit gets to go inside. Okay, that makes sense. I was, in a I was in a heavy metal band. I know how it goes. So that guy's a medic. He's going to see the other dead body when he goes through. 
Or he's just gonna clean him out. Never mind. He's just gonna clean him out. That's cool. So with this bouncer right here, I don't know how to get rid of him. Maybe with the gumballs, possibly? Can I do something with this? Oh, it's a jukebox. Okay, well, I'm gonna break it then. And we'll see what happens. Got him. Got her. All right, so that's all that I needed. I needed to get the bouncer out of the way so that I can go up inside of here and I can assassinate the last drug dealer. Last drug dealer is down. We'll pick up her body and then we'll throw it over in here. Perfect. And so that's going to be three out of five. And then we've got two out of four left over there. Cops are going to come and check that shit out. You know, I'm okay with electrifying that pool right there. And that killed the cop. So that gets him out of our hair. I'm going to sabotage the hookah right there so that it blows up. Hopefully that gets a grip of people. And as soon as these guys walk past, I think the dealer moved, but that still killed off a couple of them. It thins out the herd, which is really the main mechanic of this game, is you've just got to, like, thin out the herd. I don't know if I timed that right, but uh, it seems to have worked okay. These guys are all walking back that way, so I'm going to kill him real fast. And on this side, we got a lady standing around. couple people. I still got to get rid of this bouncer and I don't want to walk straight into him. There's too many people around. Too many people around. There we go. That whacks both of them. They didn't see who the killer was, so I should be solid right there. I light that gas can and then make for the top of the stairs. I missed that guy. I missed him. Although this bouncer's down too. So that's going to save me a little bit of trouble. I can mix chemicals over here. Uh, he's actually definitely dead. He's like super dead. I'm going to light that hook on fire. We only have a couple other people that need to get knocked out. Oh, he's not dead. Never mind. When we get the last chemist over here, I think we'll be solid. Can I go through that vent right there? Oh, I can. Holy shit. We got multiple targets over here. Oh, that vent goes up to there. I thought it was going to come out adjacent wall. Okay, that's a bummer. There goes the last chemist. Get you out of the way, too. Just so we don't have witnesses running around all over the place calling the police. So those guys are active. I don't know what that means, but those dealers know some shit is up. But they're carrying weapons, so maybe the cops will take them in. Like, I don't know if that means they're going to attack me. Like, they've got a little thing above their heads. So, what does that mean? Does that mean they're actively dealing right now? Or, like, what does that entail? Hmm. I don't really know what to say about that. I'm going to carry this body over here, though. We're going to get everybody. We're finishing this off the way that it's meant to be played. I'm starting to get the hang of this again. couple more people got to go down for the crime of shirtlessness. Can't be walking around the club without a shirt on, man. That's just disgusting. Can't be you can't be all nasty titty hanging like running around doing your thing, man. What's going on with the cops right there? All right, that dude's down. And there's our next exec or that's our next objective. It looks like we only got a couple more people that we got to get rid of, but most of them are dancing over by that canister right there. I will whack who I can whack at a certain point. Oh, I just get to leave? I don't have to kill everybody? See, in the first game, the goal was to kill everybody on a map, and it was kind of like a puzzle game. This one, it looks like you've got more objectives, like you've got things you're supposed to accomplish. I mean, maybe I'm supposed to kill everybody. I might, just for good measure. I mean, sometimes people gotta go, you know? Uh, I don't know the quality of these human beings. Let me sneak around and kill a few more. There's one right there. I don't really care about the cops coming anymore. I'm just gonna kill them whenever I can. It's basically the same game as the first game. They've just decided to upgrade the graphics a little bit, is my general feeling about it. Could probably light this hookah over here, which is what I'm gonna do. There's a body bag over on that side. I'm hoping what'll happen is this dude will see the explosion and run down to there. Come on. 
There we go. They're both down. Killed a couple more. That hookah hasn't exploded yet, which is kind of weird. I'm, like, expecting it to explode, but it hasn't. I don't know if killing the medics has any function. Like, I'm not going to do it because they're not actually, like, real targets. Instead, let's sneak back around here. I'm trying to 100% this level. And if I die at this point, I'm going to be very upset with myself, yes. It did happen all the time in the first party hard where you get this far. See, this dude's dancing scared everybody away. You do a dance like that and ain't nobody want to hang out with you anymore. These people are all in a public area, which makes that a tad more difficult. Uh, the cleaning lady is drunk over here. Oh, you actually can't get the cleaning lady. Okay. Oh, she runs away. Oh, I thought she was going to call the cops on me. We had plenty of escape routes, so it wasn't that big of a deal if she did, but i got to wait for these last couple people to just do their thing. You can't stab the cleaning lady. Oh, I can change the music. That's pretty sweet. Just in case you wanted to get, like, some house music going on. Another one bites the dust. Oh, and that hookah blew up. It looks like I got a couple people over there, so that's good. Pretty sweet stuff couple people who are all blacked out on one side so where is the phone at that they're calling the cops with oh they call with their cell phones okay that makes sense I'm gonna be brazen about this one what's up cop how you doing get her get this dude and then kind of just make my way over here can't stab anybody over on this side can definitely kill that dude though. That dude is like eminently killable. Did they already see the bodies out here? Oh, they already saw the bodies out here. Good. Guess what, white shirt lady? Stabbed! I'm so good at stabbing. Sometimes in life you get skills that are not marketable, like stabbing. Stabbing is a skill that like you're not gonna get to utilize a lot on the home front, but like it's still pretty dope. Uh I just gotta get these two separated. This girl over here crip walking his shit. Damn, the game's hard up in this part of town. I don't know what this dude's doing. I have no idea what this is. This right here is what happens like when your grandma tries to dance, like after like 50 years. This is just, just like somebody get their grandma. Come on. You guys gonna get all peed out at some point? All right, I'm gonna have to do this a different way because they're not scrambling. I gotta move them around. I stood here for like a couple of minutes waiting for. Oh, now they leave. Of course they leave now. All right, well, we'll get that guy real quick. I'm going to swoop around the other side and see if I can get the girl that's wearing the 1980s outfit. So many dead people. It's just an utter slaughter out here. It's better than an otter slaughter because otter slaughters are cute. Like, or, I'm sorry, otter slaughters are not cute. That is not the joke I was trying to make. Otter slaughter is not cute in any regard. That's a level of slaughter that we just can't allow to happen. Oh, I'm sorry, crip walking girl. You got to go. She's like, bitch, it's a blood walk, fool. We'd be out here bicking it. I think that's everybody. I think we killed everyone. I think that was 100%. I don't know, I kind of like the old objective better where you just had to kill everybody. Like, having the mini objectives are cool, but I don't like how you can leave before you finish the job. You gotta get everybody. I'm a thorough killer. I'm a thorough hustler. Did I miss anybody? Please tell me I didn't miss anybody. Hey, okay. So that, I think, was the first... Alpha, that was our go at it. So Party Hard 2, if you're interested in the first Party Hard, uh, they've released the first level to get people hyped for it. Uh, this is the Party Hard Alpha. I'm hoping more comes out soon because I love this game. Party Hard 1 was one of my favorite games of last year. It was a blast. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on in. I'll see you all next time. Thank you for supporting me here at the Nerd Castle. Uh, make sure you add Party Hard to the list of things that you want to check out. It's a pretty sweet game. Bye, everybody.